He's from Golden Boy. Here comes Manny Pacquiao. In June, you saw a bit of the fight we show you, the highlights of the David Diaz fight. He stopped Diaz in the ninth round. The Mexicans, and there's a large Mexican population here in Nevada as well. They've turned out to see him. And of course, the wealthy Mexicans come up. A battle between the Filipinos and the Mexicans. Right here in the United States. Right. <laughs> Manny caught him. And there's Pacquiao darting back out of trouble and then into the punching range. And his speed has probably been a little bit of a surprise for Oscar so far. And here is Pacquiao on the right side of his screen. And he gets off by hitting Oscar. Well, Oscar and De La Hoya look tight in the opening round. He looks tight right now, too. Manny nails him with the right hand. You got to get a piece of him. Let's start there, yeah, get inside. He wants the right hand lead against Pacquiao, but Pacquiao is really quick with his feet. Oscar fighting a little on the flat-footed side, Manny right up on his toes. Yeah, it's magic so far for Pacquiao, his ability to go in and out. Always used to say hit and don't get hit, in and out, in and out, and that's exactly the way Manny Pacquiao is fighting right now. There's the uppercut. Straight left hand. In a second, I should say. That was a left hook that got through that time, but it was with an outstretched hand of Oscar. There was no power behind it. No, but it shows where Oscar De La Hoya's fight plan is headed. Straight left hand down the middle, snapped the head back of Oscar. Oscar hasn't done enough to win the first two minutes of this round. Okay. Here's Manny Pacquiao, the straight leaping left hand. Look at that off the move, and how do you get that shot to a, a lead shot on Oscar De La Hoya? Let's go, Freddy. The quickness, he poises, gets through. Throws a shot that MGM Grand Garden Arena. The obvious hand speed of Pacquiao is just that. It's so obvious. The left hand down the middle. He couldn't manage to win any rounds or many rounds, if any, against Oscar. And Manny Pacquiao is certainly more than holding his own. It seems like every time he throws the right hand, Manny's dipping and, and making even when he lands. There's a right hand push from the jaw of De La Hoya. Unleashes an assault to the body, nothing powerful, but this is. Yeah, in terms of power, Oscar De La Hoya has already been touched up more by Manny Pacquiao. That, that's the way he gets himself ready to fight. It's all business in the ring, and it's a dangerous sport. But right now, he's on the receiving end of the speed of Pacquiao. With a minute gone, Oscar just pouring with the jab, not really stepping up into it, not throwing the left hand to the body with any viciousness at all. And look at Manny, look at the amount of punches he's thrown there. And the power. Here's a guy that's come up from 106, and he's a legitimate welterweight power puncher here. Look he, at this! He has been terrific moving up. Meantime, Oscar De La Hoya has not looked good coming down. This no. is not a comfortable weight class for him tonight. There are some judges who could have gone the other way in that one. So Oscar finally plants a right hand to the body, then upstairs. And now he finally starts hitting Manny in losing efforts to Bernard Hopkins, to Mayweather, twice to Shane Mosley, and Felix Trinidad. He didn't look this bad. Uh, pretty soon, not going to be issue for him. Oscar's uh, left eye closing up with that jab and the left hand falling it. And now here he tries to exchange with Manny. Nothing that he throws lands, and Manny touches him up. Most surprising part of this fight is how Pacquiao has maintained his speed and still has good power at 147. You know, he, he threw the right hand that time with kind of the thumb out and the palm up. That's not the way you throw a power shot with your right hand. Oscar not getting off right hands. And he looks like he's almost shell shy right now. Yeah. The way Manny's attacking. And this has been the fight since the beginning. Pacquiao's power bothering Oscar De La Hoya. The corner of Pacquiao and maybe Freddie Roach saying don't get caught in the corner. Now De La Hoya's caught in the corner. And look at this guy go. Minute 15 seconds to go and De La Hoya's in trouble. He can't get off these ropes here. Oscar De La Hoya. And he nailed him with the right hand. He's all over him right now. Oscar's hurt. Pacquiao pouring the pressure on. Finally Oscar steps away. They will be taking a real close look at stopping this win. Look at this action, Pacquiao, three shots. And when do you see Oscar De La Hoya? Miraculous move on Oscar De La Hoya. As I say that, Pacquiao pours the pressure on him. 
And this might be the miraculous finish of the career of Oscar De La Hoya. Pacquiao really labeling him and blasting him with left hand, right hand. Feigning as everything that Freddie Roach has told him to do, he's executed. And we've seen De La Hoya again on the ropes at the Sanctuary. Don't mess with this guy. And the power shots are right downstairs. And look at Pacquiao battle to the end of the eighth round. Trying to stop Oscar De La Hoya in his track. Right away, that he just couldn't get off. And look at the very end of the fight where Pacquiao was just. He's, he's really putting the pressure on at the end of round eight. Almost puts Oscar De La Hoya down. The right eye is closing, and after this. He knows he's 35, and, and it's all over. The fight is stopped. It's all over. De La Hoya can't answer the bell for the ninth round.